If the concrete industry were a country, it would be the third largest greenhouse gas emitter in the world. That's a crazy statistic. You know, we talk a lot about sustainability and climate change these days, but somehow nearly all the solutions presented are focused on one thing, increasing energy efficiency. The problem is most of the things we build today end up in a landfill within 30 to 75 years. It doesn't matter how energy efficient a building is if you are throwing it away within a few decades. And by the way, if you are not very, very careful, increasing energy efficiency can often have a negative correlation with the building's longevity. Look, I am an advocate for sensible, energy efficient practices. At my firm, Building Culture, we use things like mineral wool and geothermal and solar panels to achieve high performance buildings. I am all for continual exploration of how to increase energy efficiency in a responsible way. But to me, durability is the real sustainability. Building resilient places comprised of durable buildings is the key to a sustainable and prosperous future. That's where I think our focus needs to shift away from this myopic, you know, obsession with our value and fancy new technologies and to answer the question, how do we build to last centuries? If we can answer that question, we will have taken a massive step forward in the right direction over, you know, some fancy LEED certificate that designates something as sustainable. And I believe the key to durability is to transition from a wood-framed construction system to a masonry-based construction system, or what I call structural masonry. And it's not that I think I have the final answer about how to build to last 500 years or 1,000 years. I don't think we know anymore as a society, as a culture, but, but that's what we are working towards at Building Culture, and, and that's where I'm trying to shift the conversation. So if this sounds interesting to you and you're interested to learn more, Join my friend Anthony Catania and me uh, for a live presentation tomorrow, Friday, December 2nd, 11 a.m., 12 central with the, or sorry, 11 a.m. central, 12 eastern with the Institute of Classical Architecture and Art as we explore the why behind advocating, why we, why we are advocating for structural masonry as well as 25 minutes of technical details about how we at Building Culture are innovating within that realm within here in Oklahoma City. So whether you are a student or are in the profession or a just concerned citizen or homeowner, I invite you to join us and hope to see you there. Registration link below.